Hey YouTube, Jerry here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about becoming a better shot. And I've been shooting since I was, uh, I don't know, 10. And um, I'm a pretty good shot. It doesn't come easy, but a couple of things that'll make you a better shot. The first one is a good gun. You have to have a rifle that'll shoot straight. A rifle that um, is cheesy and doesn't shoot like a, you know, like a rifle. For instance, I've got a Sportsman 900 pump BB gun. Shoots 177 pellets and BBs. It's junk. You couldn't hit a post for, at five feet away with the thing. It's just junk, no matter how good a shot you are. Then I've got um, Umarax Octane, just the opposite. Great gun. I've got my Puncher Breaker. Both those are 22 caliber. They're both very high power um, air rifles. And um, they make me a better shot. Along with the number one thing, number two thing, well, number one, two thing, I don't know. You have to practice. So, if you have a brake barrel, practicing means cocking that gun a million times. One shot at a time, you will get good eventually. If you have a PCP, it means pumping it up. I get about six, 50 to 60 good shots out of my rifle, and then I have to fill it with air. Now, I had a hand pump, and the problem with the hand pump is I'm old. It takes a lot of work. It was killing me. So what I was doing is shooting the rifle 20, 10 times over the course of a few days, or 20 times over the course of a few days, and then pumping it up once, maybe twice a week. Um, I, do, I do, did shoot it very well, but not as good as I could. Then I went out and I bought a compressor. Uh, the compressor was about 200 bucks. I got it off the Walmart uh, website. Um, and now they sell them on eBay for two and a half. So they're not really ridiculous. Um, now I shoot my rifle 40 times. Pump it back up 40 times. Pump it back up. I can do that three, four times a day. Five times a day. And sometimes I shoot two or three hundred shots a day. Am I a good shot? Oh yeah. I can hit a quarter at 100 yards, I would say 9 out of 10 times with my PCP. So if you want to be a good shot, you have to decide whether cocking that brake barrel is worth it, hand pumping it is worth it, or just buying a compressor. Um, or, you know, you can always get a big air tank and go down and get it filled up at your local scuba shop or your... You know, around here, I think there's a paintball place. It's expensive. I, I have no interest. And I don't go to places. I have no interest in doing that. So, so if you want to be a better shot, those are the two things that I would say. Another thing that helps is a good pellet. Don't buy crap pellets. I shoot a lot of Crossman 14.3 hollow points. I shoot a lot of the Premier's. Um, they're good pellets. Um, actually, I saw a thing on Shoot to Kill Outdoors. And uh, James, if you're listening, um, I remember that, that one that you did that Crossman said they were the world's best pellets. This was back in the 70s or the 80s. I don't even know when. Um, and I shoot a lot of them. And I have to say, they are one of the most accurate pellets. Excuse my bird in the back. Hang on, I'll shut this door. One of the most accurate pellets that I can shoot. Another one is, uh, I shoot the Gamo TS-22s, another, they're heavier, but very accurate pellet, and also the Gamo Red Fires, um, they are very accurate too, uh, matter of fact, again, we'll go back to Shoot to Kill Outdoors, um, he did a thing on the Predator Polymags and, uh, the Red Fires, which one is more accurate, which one does better penetration, which one expands more, Gamo came in number one across the board. So, you know, watch a lot of videos. Um, you'll find a lot, of, a lot of interesting information about different pellets, different rifles, you know, all kinds of stuff. Um, so, I would say if you want to become a good shot, practice. A good gun and just time. That's what it takes. You know, like I said, I've sh I shoot my gun sometimes... 200 shots a day. That's a lot of shots. But I've got 
four and a half acres here and I have a big area, I have my own target range set up for 30, 50, and 100 yards. Um, so I can literally, I can shoot off my back porch at my range all day long and I'm retired. So I have all day long. I go through uh, 10 pellets every couple of days sometimes. Um, I did the 3,000 shot review on my puncher breaker and now I'm getting ready to do 4,000 shot review. Um, so watch for that. It'll be up here in the next uh, couple hours. I think I'm going to do it today. Um, anyway, I hope this helps some of you, you new guys especially, and you old guys. Uh, old guys, get a compressor. I mean, for a couple hundred bucks, you know, if you're like me, you're retired, you're not rich, you don't got a lot of money, save your nickels. You know, just save a few bucks, get it off of eBay or get it off of Walmart and, you know, and enjoy it. Enjoy your guns and, you know, shoot more. You know, um, and that's what I could say. So, hey, that's it. Enjoy, shoot a lot more, and keep on shooting. I'm out.